Craftsmanship, respect for tradition, modern technology, and refined style are key words for Ferretti. Italo Ferretti is the Italian prototype of a self-made man, a man with taste and innovative ideas. Around 40 years ago, he sped things up, conducting a market research survey and identifying the tie, the male clothing par excellence, as the focus point of his production. A few years later, he presented his first tailor-made collection to satisfy the needs of his customers. Milestones of his lines have been the collection inspired by a famous science fiction film that saw the birth of the Santo Stefano Company, and, a few years later, a new collection, Arte, for which he drew inspiration from details of famous paintings, working with unique techniques on some of the details that stimulated his fantasy. Following that, he made the poire his trademark, which now features on every tie. Every design is guaranteed to have an exclusive elaboration of the poire. Italo Ferretti ties go through a series of different workmanship phases that are all equally important. The rolls of fabric, designed at the fashion studio in Como, are sent to the business in Silvia Marina, where the actual tie is made. It starts with the fabric cutting phase that is rigorously carried out by hand. The rolls, that are divided based on the quantity of fabric needed, are put under cardboard stencils that determine the cut. Ferretti is the only company that cuts 40% extra fabric for the lining and label and individually cut each element that makes the tie, lining, small leg, label, loop and ballast support. The next phase involves stitching the ballast support to the small leg, which makes the tie more balanced. Italo Ferretti's ballast support reinforces the small leg, which, being smaller and lighter than the larger layer, often twists and turns. This element, combined with extra stitching and fouled hems, makes the small leg a lot heavier, eliminating nearly all the annoying twisting. Work on the tie continues with the stitching of the small and large lining and the insert so as to make it completely lined. The following phase involves assembling the internal part of the tie. Next, all the individual elements of the tie are stitched together by hand. The loop, cut and sewn by hand, keeps it in the correct position, improving neatness and therefore its look. This is fixed to a shirt button using a special buttonhole and attaches to the small leg. The loop and the narrow band, signed Italo Ferretti, have an exclusive flat form that characterizes his ties and makes them unique. Another of the company's trademarks is the crease-resistant stitching. The part of the tie that hangs under the shirt collar tends to curl, making an annoying, ugly bulge in the tie. The special stitching that is only applied to this area does not only keep the fabric flat, but determines the tightness of the knot and the return of the part of the small leg that holds the knot. After being assembled and sewn, the ties are ironed and undergo a quality control inspection. Every single tie is numbered testifying its exclusivity and is labelled Silvi Marina, indicating where it was made. Every one of these is also distinguished by the poire number, which indicates the typology of the design on the fabric. The tie is wrapped and put in a box, and on the client's request, it can be presented in a variety of fabrics. Our paper transformation technology department guarantees personalized wrapping that is always original. The final phase involves sending the tie to the receiver who can finally enjoy having an elegant Italo Ferretti item.